Hello, this is Harlan. Now remember that the word word came from Germanic etymology. It's not an English word. It's not an a English word. It came from Germanic word. It came from Germany. Now, Germany was not founded until a 100 years after Jesus died. So the word word was never in the Aramaic language or in the Greek language. So remember, they changed God's word. They changed it. See, in English, you can say word for a written word or for a spoken word. And you can't translate like that. Like in Spanish, they'll say a palabra for a, a word and hablar for to speak. They do it in Greek. They say uh, for uh, rhema is a spoken word, but logos is like a written word. Now, here's the way they changed it. Watch what they did. And I always remember this. See, it would have been impossible for David to say, Thy word have I hidden in my heart. They didn't have a word for word. He said, your law, I've hid your law in my heart, you see. So they changed the Bible. To anytime you may, the word makes you think of the Bible, that's a devil. And he cast out spirits with his word. That's a lie. They didn't have a word for word. He cast out demons by his voice or by his spirit. So remember, there was no word for word until a hundred years after Jesus was dead. See, in the beginning was the spirit. It wasn't the word. They changed that. In the beginning was the Spirit, and the Spirit was with God, and the Spirit was God. See, God's a Spirit. And Jesus said, these words I speak, they are Spirit. And this that I speak, they are Spirit and they are life. So the Spirit came and was made flesh, you see. Anytime you hear him use the word, word, it makes your mind go to the Bible, and that's the devil. That's what the devil wants you to do. That's what King James then wants you to be controlled by the Bible. See, the spoken voice. He'll say, voice, my sheep know my voice. You hear my voice. See, if you say they hear the word, you think of the Bible, well, the devil hears the Bible, but he don't hear God's voice. See, God's voice is true, not the word. It's the spirit or the voice. That's what they would say. They would never say word because they didn't have that in their uh, language. You see, your voice is true. You see, that's the way they said. Here's the way they deceive you with the with the Bible. Now, they'll say in Romans, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Well, you see, if you think of the word, that's the Bible. Well, faith don't come by the Bible. Faith comes by hearing God's voice. His sheep knows his voice. It comes by hearing the word of God in the spiritual sense, not in the Bible sense, you see, but the power is in the Holy Ghost. See, not in the law. Okay, when he says uh, the word... The sword of the Spirit, well, that's not the Word, taking the Word. You take the Spirit of God or the voice of God. And the Word of God is uh, alive. The Word of God is uh, quick. They, they say the Spirit of God is quick. The Spirit of God is quick. They don't say uh, the English Word. They didn't have a, the word Word. You see, the, the Spirit of God is alive and powerful. See, that's the only thing that can discern the thoughts and intents of your heart. And that's the Spirit of God can discern the thoughts and intents of your heart. You see, the, the Father, the voice, and the Holy Ghost, these are one. So you see, they didn't have a word for word. So King James wanted y'all to cha change and think about the word being the Bible. When they say that and your mind goes to the Bible, that's a devil. That's a devil. See, they changed the the words in there, you can't translate from one language to another like that. <laughs> they translated voice. They took away voice. Just like in in uh, Revelations, they'll say, if you take away the words of this part, they said, if you take away the letters or the spirit of this, then you, your name won't be in the Lamb's Book of Life. So it don't say word. It says a message or a letter or a spirit or a voice. Anything that makes you think about the Bible is a devil. When they put the word in there, they wanted you to think about the Bible. They didn't have a word for word. It come from German language, and Germans didn't wasn't founded till the year 100 after Jesus was born. See, preach the Spirit, Timothy. Preach the Spirit. He didn't say preach the word. They didn't have no Bibles. They had scrolls. You see, anybody that changes the 
words of this book. They didn't say change the words of this book. Change the words of this scroll. See, they changed the word spirit to word. They changed the voice to word. And that has two different meanings. And Satan has deceived the world with this. Do not let that happen to you. Anything that makes you think of the Bible, that's a devil. See, be doers of the spirit, not of the word. You see, they say be doers of the Bible. That's a lie. You see, be doers of the spirit. Be led by the spirit, by the spirit of the living God. They would use message or spirit or voice. They never use like a written word. They always make a difference between the written word and the spiritual word. So let God speak to you by his voice, by his spirit. They lied to you. See, they put words in there. See, if we, if we say that we're not saying he's a liar. And the spirit, you see, not the word, the spirit will show that you're a liar. So it's the spirit. People covers up their sins with Bibles. Don't let this happen to you. That's a lie of the devil. If you read word and your mind goes to the Bible, that's a devil. Remember, the Bible is not the word of God. It's not the voice of God. It's not the spirit of God. The Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. Do not be deceived by a book because Jesus loves you. Sons of God.